Hello and welcome to the fifth race of the season for the INRL Goodrich Arca Series of the INRL. We are here at Rockingham Revamp 2012 here, and I'll tell you something, this is going to be awesome. Probably never expected it to be Rockingham here. On the pole is Mike Flanagan, second James Qualls, uh, third is Daniel Day, fourth Cody Lamas, fifth Daniel Ray, sixth Paul Swanson, eighth Danny Everett, and, uh, seventh Ashley LaPlante. 10th Mason Wood, and 9th is Severin Yashmik. See the rest of the field. So look at your starting lineup. The number 46 car, that is William Duncan, won the last race. As they had given the command to start their engines. Good for Mike Flanagan. There we go. And there goes the pace car. And there they go. And all 42 are going. Last row is Steve Pollard and uh, Cody Brackham. Mike Flanagan. Starting out on the point. We're going to be here for 20 laps. Here we go. Green flag is down at the rock. Normally, I'm not a big fan of this track, but we're using the revamp version because the other one sucks. So, it really does. Here they come off of turn two, and I'll tell you something on the back stretch. 42 of these guys are going to try to determine who's going to win this race here in this repaved version here. And here comes Daniel Day in the four. You know, a lot of these sponsors are, some of them, most of these cars, they're sponsorless here, but I'll tell you something, some of them run pretty damn well. And look who's coming here. It's the 99 of Ashley LaPlante. The, the line you want to use? Obviously the inside line. Look who's moving his way up. The guy who struggled this so far this much this season. It's Tim Walsh in the 38. He just can't get a good finish. He already was 8th last time by. I think if he, uh, when he crosses a stripe, I think he's going to be at about 6th place or something. Great run for that 38 car. And let's see where he is right now. 6th, yeah. I called it. Wow. And look who's moved his way up. Severin Yashma. He's going... Or, yeah, he's going three wide for third. He's going to take the spot. And, oh, car bounce off the wall. That was uh, Daniel Ray, and he almost got into Tim Walsh there. And uh, there's Austin Geith in the 59 having a great run. There's Sosnowski there, Trevor Jackson. Uh, uh, Leo, or excuse me, Luke, or, yeah, Leo Walker. I get them mixed up. Drew Austin is there. He's having a decent run. Uh, there's... Uh, Jake Williams, who had his best career finish in my series, got second, came close, but couldn't get the job done. Cody Breckham moved his way out of last. He's moved up to 36. And right now in that last, Austin Ogo, I believe. Yep, Austin Ogo. Meanwhile, to the front, it is Mike Flanagan, who has just been dominating this race. Daniel Day still in second. Until Tim Walsh is moving his way for third. Having a great run there right now in the 38. He's just having a terrific run. I believe we got some three wide there where Joseph Lombard, he was in a three wide situation. He got settled back out to two wide. Lombard hasn't had a good season. Neither has uh, James Qualls in the 91, which let's find him here. There he is. You know, starting second. Qualls has just not been having that good season. Just trying to avoid the wrecks. Can't do it. It's been a tough break for the 91 team. Looking forward for a good season. He just can't get the job done. As now Tim Walsh moves his way up to third, passing Yashmik. I'm seeing the effort. This guy's literally underestimated. He can actually do get some good runs, but he's, you know, not even known in the intercompany community. But he can show himself, though. You just got to know when he's going to strike. And Walsh, Walsh just got flat out turned by Austin Geip. But Walsh has a terrific save. But that, oh, oh, no. Oh, they're creating a pile up here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. God, it's just not. Oh, my God. Brandon Chan. Hard into the uh, thing here. And, oh, God. Oh, Flickinger just failed. Jake Williams ran into it. Flanagan's the leader. Oh, God. Man, Geith is there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's the leaders? Oh, boy. That was pretty nasty there. Kyle Thomas involved. Dylan Ogo. Uh, Luke Walker's involved. Jerry Guerra. I'm not surprised there. Steve Fuller. There's Nicholas Guerra. Uh, Leo. Er, wow. Leo Walker. Drew Austin got involved. Daniel Hummel. Austin LaPlante. We saw him get involved heavily there. 
believe Mason Wood had a piece of it. I believe he did. I'm not sure. Uh, Greco made it through. Duncan's made it through. Samper looks like got a little bit of back end damage. I don't know how Lombard made it through that wreck. That was unbelievable. And there's Tim Walsh. He just got flat out dumped by the 59. That was just uncalled for there. And he get what he deserves, and he's on the pitch now, so. God damn it. There he is. That was a shame for Hoffman Guy, but I don't know why he did that. I don't think Tim Walsh is going to be happy about that one. Caution down for the first time today. Make play again, Leeds and Sale. Let's take a look for ourselves the first caution of the race. Welcome back and take a look again. Yeah, Guyp is just going to be all over Tim Walsh's right corner panel, which is the odd thing you ever see in our 2003. Guyp slides him up on the track, and then Walsh is going to back in off of Guyp's left corner. Walsh keeps his car going, but Guyp's car is around. And look at you see James Qualls make his way through 56 now. Sosnowski is going to be the first car that's going to get involved. He's going to get a piece of it. And Mason Wood, he did get a piece of that wreck, and then just on from there. Look at the one driver who made it through. That was Lombard and uh, Brandon Chan. Brandon Chan actually got clipped from Lombard, but Lombard and Chan didn't get like that much damage. Klein, I don't know how he made it through too. And there's Dreckham getting involved. Just all hell's breaking loose. And then watch Chan. Oh my God. Chan just demolished the wall there. And then here comes Jake Williams in the picture. Flips him over. Kyle Thomas runs into it. About four drivers ran into it there. And Kyle Sosnowski is upside down in the seven. We'll see how he flipped over here. Ah, stupid lag. Hold on. All right, here's how he got involved there. There he gets in the guy. He got into Drew Austin right here, into Fritz Lukender. He gets involved there. There's Hummel in the uh, uh, 35 right there. It's um, I can't remember off the top of my head there. But Sosnowski, he's going to make it through. Lombard's going to miss him. Klein's going to miss him. Pollard's going to get into him. Oh, LaPlante slid. I don't know what happened to him. And then, uh, oh, Sosnowski got another tap from LaPlante and just was enough to flip the car over, ironically. Let's go back to, no, let's go to Brandon Chan here in the 34. Oh, actually, let's see this real quick. Oh, he just, Wreckham just made another wreck right there. Yeah, that was weird. All right, now let's look at Brandon Chan in the 34. Just let's see what happened to him. Oh, he may, ironically he made it through with Lombard. And then Lombard tapped into Chan. I don't know how Chan got, you know, it doesn't make sense. Wait a minute. I don't know, it's stupid lag game. I think Chan derped it. Oh, he did derp it. Oh, no. Oh, God. Hard into that, um, hard into that area there. Jake Williams just, just stupid right there. And same with uh, Kyle Thomas there. They just failed miserably there. And that right there. And then that was Jerry Guerin, the, and, or excuse me, Nicholas Guerin, the 26. And then LaFuente is going to barely make his way through. And then you're just going to see Zach Flickinger just fail right here. He just totally failed right there, but let's just go to right here. Just show you the replay from all the wrecking that took place right here. I apologize for that problem there, just a lag came on by, but this is a look what happened from the helicopter cam, just for a flyby of this. 
on this area here. Watch all the watch the cards are going to slide in here. And wow, Flecking just really failed it. All right, so that was a look at everything that took place. Caution's out. Leader to the line was Mike Blanton's. Take it back to the green. I'm back. Sorry about that. It was just a lag thing, so we're not live right now, but we don't know how many drivers who retired, though. Mike Flanagan's your leader. Daniel Lee, second. Severn Yashmik, third. Danny Everett, fourth. Ashley Laplante, fifth. Six, Justin Talapas. Seven, James Qualls. Eight, Daniel Ray. Ninth, Tim Walsh. And completing the top ten is Cody Lums. Eleventh is Paul Swanson. Twelfth, Dylan Young. Thirteenth, Dan Coates. Fourteenth, Trevor Jackson. Fifteenth, Joseph Lumber. So all the drivers who don't have damage. Now all the drivers that do have damage on back are Fritz Lugan there in sixteenth, Jeffrey Buckeye, seventeenth, Hayden Klein, eighteenth, nineteenth, Steve Fuller in third, Charles Sanford twentieth, and then twenty first through thirtieth, Lawler, Novo, Duncan, Brackham, Demax, Austin Novo, Wood, Hummel, Drew Austin, and Leia Walker please the top thirty, and then Dylan Novo. Uh, Lu uh, wow, Leia Walker, Steve Ford, Austin LaPlante in 32nd, and, well, yeah, there goes Jared. Green flag. Wow, I failed. And bow for, uh, look at this, there's so far single file right now, but that's changed right now as Lombard's trying to take the 14th position away from Dan Coates in the 08. And Lombard trying to get that position, but now Coates is trying to fight on the high side, trying to get Trevor Jackson. That low side is prevailing. And the surprise part that I'm seeing here right now, and we're going to come to that in a moment just we're looking at this bow right now, and Lombard is trying to get the position. Can't get it. Yeah, they're still back and, back and forth there trying to get the spot. And it looks like uh, Coates is going to probably hang on there. But Dan Walsh is still hanging in there even with that back end damage. we got a bow for the lead there. That was Daniel Day who took the lead from Flanagan, and now Severin Yashmik to the lead. The Ukrainian driver going to the lead. Trying to win his first ever Iron Roll Goodrich Arca Series race. And look who's moving as well was was Tim Walsh, but yeah, never mind. Uh, Flanagan, though. Having a great race. He is still hanging in there, and he's taking, retaking the second spot away from Daniel Day. But Josh Mc has fully taken the lead. we got about five laps to go. Flanagan has officially taken the second position away from Daniel Day. And now Ashley LaPlante is now going to try to take that position away. I'll tell you one thing. For Josh Mc, he's got to be aware that Flanagan's having one of the best cars right now of the season right now and of the, of the race. So, got to keep an eye on that. And there's Lamas trying to... Um, uh, take the spot from Everett, and he is about to do it. Yeah, Flanagan's really getting close on him. And there's Tim Walsh. He's just trying to hang in there in the top ten. Surprisingly enough, he's doing not bad, even though he lost a spot from Dylan Young there in the 77. Walsh is having a, actually a, gr a good race, despite the getting taken out and having the damage on, on his back end of the 38 car there. He's having a not bad race. He's just trying to finish the damn race. I think he's a little pissed, but I think he's going to be a little bit happy. And I think, uh, you know, playing, you're seeing there, he's going to go. But nope, he's not going yet. But surprisingly, they're going double file. Let's take one look at the back through the front. As Josh leads two laps to go. Here's just a quick look. And, wow, that was a weird lag. White flag is waving out for Severin Yashmik in the 69. Sponsored list car. Can Flanagan make one last attempt of going to the lead? Flanagan's all over that bumper. The sponsor list number 69. Here they come, coming off a of turn number three. And coming off a of turn number four. Severin Yashmik, the Ukrainian driver, will win here at the Rock. And Flanagan made his move a little too late. Oh, boy. If there were another 10 laps, I think Flanagan would have had the right time to go for that lead, though. 
Second will be Flanagan. Third will be Ashley LaFlante. Fourth, Daniel Ray. Fifth, Daniel Day. Sixth, Cody Lama. Seventh, Paul Swanson. Eighth, Dylan Young. Tim Walsh, who got taken out in that wreck, is going to end up ninth. And Trevor Jackson gets tenth in the 77. Get some other notables there. Lawler finished 15th. Klein finished 14th. Samper finished 17th. Lombard finished 19th. Qualfs 18th. Uh, William Duncan, last race winner, 21st. Fritz finished 22nd. Austin Ogo, how about him? Who was in the back of the pack at a moment? He was 26th. And let's see, Polar there. Cody Breckham is up 31st. Austin LaFonte, 32nd. Henry No finishes 30th. And Drew Austin, 29th. Justin Townpass, 13th. And Danny Everett missed the top 10 in 11th. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to this good race here. Congrats, uh, oh, he's not in there anymore. Congrats one last time there to uh, Severin Yashmik on his first career victory of the Iron Royal Goodrich Park Series. Thank you guys for tuning in for the race here and live action. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you guys later. We'll tune you in later for the sixth race of the season of the IRA Monster Energy Super Speedway Series and race six of the Iron Oil Goodrich Arca Series. I'm 8675309858. Signing off. Go look at my soda cookie video. Probably. Also, don't forget other stuff. All right, see ya.